It's one of the largest cattle moves in Australia's history. 18,000 head drawn from the desperately dry reaches of Western Queensland and the Northern Territory are walking 1,500 kilometres to greener pastures in southern New South Wales. This mob of heifers is blazing the trail first and boss drover Bill Little expects to cross the border into New South Wales on Wednesday. Yeah, they're doing considerably well. These are only very young heifers as you can see. Number three, a lot of them are only calves, so it's a pretty big ask to ask those, that cattle, that young, to walk. But um, there's been a bit of relief rain down here and there'll be a bit of clover and a bit of green and these little fellas are, are handling it quite good. South Australian pastoralist Tom Brinkworth bought the cattle from the Australian Agriculture Company earlier this year and decided to walk the cattle to the Riverina. The eight mobs have travelled from Winton and Longreach and are now spread out with about 80 kilometres separating the front mob from the back. The job for the drovers who are bringing up the rear is the hardest because the mobs in front get first pick at the feed. Um, this is a pretty tough operation at the best of times and we've done it under extreme dry conditions. Um, Western Queensland, well a lot of Queensland is extremely dry. Um, water is a big issue, some people that have had rain haven't had water rain um, and that's what we've found probably the toughest is the water. It's been half a century since some of the stock routes in Queensland have been used. Trucks have long replaced the long paddock as the main way to get cattle from place to place and Bill Little says droving in the 21st century has its challenges. Uh, probably the most concern is the traffic, like I think traffic all day and like think controlling those traffic, like getting up on the road and slowing them down. Um, yeah, that and um, the well-being of the cattle. But Bill's spent more than 30 years in the saddle droving and he says there's still nothing he'd rather do. Yeah, it's a funny thing with droving, like I walk cattle sometimes a couple of thousand kilometres, but if I've got to get in a car and drive a couple of thousand kilometres, I think, bloody hell, you know, this is such a long way. But yet I've just ride a horse that far and I don't seem to, it doesn't seem to worry me. This lead mob of cattle are making good time through Western Queensland. When they reach the New South Wales border, they'll split into mobs of about 1,500 head and then make their way through Western New South Wales to their new home in the Riverina by about Christmas time. The, the time it takes to walk these cattle there will be in a new season, will be in the spring and the summer. So hopefully by then there'll be some nice feed for them to walk onto. And as well as that, it's great education for the cattle. These cattle will never stress, they'll be easy to muster, easy to handle, they'll be set for life.